Calamity Day Countdown. Schools in Ohio are given five by law. When this massive storm dumped up to 10 inches of snow throughout northwest Ohio and southeast Michigan Sunday, that number dropped to four. When frigid cold air locked Sunday's snow in place Monday night into Tuesday, the snow days dropped to three. It's early January, and chances are we'll get more snow and ice certain to close schools again. The whole time, school administrators were paying close attention to the weather and to their school calamity days, but their focus is clear. Our kids, it's about student drivers. You know, we have to remember we have high schoolers that are driving, but are new drivers in those kind of conditions, and we don't want children um, at bus stops where somebody could slide or the windshield would be dangerous. So we take all of those factors into consideration uh, to make a decision as to whether to delay or to close. That decision is based on road conditions, and when many counties issued level two and three advisories, it prohibited non-emergency driving. The advisories have dropped but road conditions are still questionable in many places. We put safety first then, and if we feel that the conditions outside uh, do not completely, are not completely safe, then we certainly will not, uh, you know, uh, have school. If the decision to close school happens, there's no more calamity days left. That means two options. Either schools seek special authorization from the Ohio General Assembly to excuse excess calamity days, the other option would be to use online lessons to make up three calamity days, and using up the five calamity days issued is rare. Not very often. Uh, I think it's only been a couple of times uh, in the last 20 years or so.